Hello out there to you. In this problem, we're going to do a game theory sequential moving problem. So we've got an oligopoly uh, or duopoly, really. We've got Toshiba and LG. Those are our two players, as we would say, and the different strategies that they have. So Toshiba gets to pick first. You can see that on the decision tree. They're the first uh, decider right there. We'll make them red. They get to choose do not expand, expand small, and expand large. And then LG, uh, we'll make them blue. They get to choose do not expand small and large. So the strategies are the same. Okay, So we're, this is called backward induction, where Toshiba is looking at what would be best for LG. So here's what they would say. They would say, if we don't expand, what's best for LG? Now, the second number in the um, payoffs there, okay? So this second number belongs to the second player, which in this case is LG. And the first player, the first number belongs to the first player, that's Toshiba. Okay, so up in this, we're gonna just look at this right here. Uh, if, if Toshiba does not expand, what's LG gonna do? So they're, they're, they're looking between getting a $2 payout, a $10 payout, or a $20 payout. 20 is the best, so this is what they would choose if uh, Toshiba does not expand. If Toshiba goes small, what's LG going to do? Two, five, or seven. Seven is the best. We're going to circle that. And then if Toshiba goes large, what is LG going to do? They're going to go two, three, or five. They're going to choose this, uh, the small, small plant. Okay, so that's what LG is going to, how to tell LG is going to respond after Toshiba does each of its strategies. So then Toshiba is just going to look and say, okay, well, um, the payouts that avail are available to us are we can go, uh, we can not expand and they get large, we get $2. We can go small, they're going to go large and we get $3. So this, the, comparing these two together, this is better than this. And then if we go large, uh, they're going to go small, we would get $7. So this is what's in our best interest. So this is what's known as the Nash equilibrium. Okay, this is the most likely outcome. Neither player has any incentive to change or deviate from that uh, outcome. And so we end up right there. Okay, and that's how to solve it uh, with a decision tree in a sequential game.